Okay, so in this unit, we're going to talk about arc length, and I want to develop the formula for you. So we talked about radians, and radian is a measure of a central angle where the arc length is the same measurement length as the radii. So if I look at the angle, so if I had a central angle, I know that it is an angle out of a full turn of the circle is 2 pi radians. That's going to be the same as the arc length, the piece of the circumference, out of the total circumference. So let's just kind of visualize what that is saying. So I have some sort of circle, and then let's say, that's not a very good circle, but we'll pretend. And then I have some sort of a central angle. So this angle is a piece of the circle, and it is a piece of a full two pi radians. That's what I mean by this ratio here. My angle is one angle piece out of a full two pi radian. Then my radian, my arc length here, is one piece out of the circumference of the circle. It's one piece out of the whole. So I'm looking at piece out of the whole for each one of those. So if I look at this um, ratio here, what I want to do is I want to solve for arc length. So I want to come up with an expression here for arc length. So I'm going to go back to grade 8 proportions and just do cross multiply and divide. So to solve for arc length, I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to take theta and I'm going to multiply it by the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r. And then I'm going to divide it by 2 pi, and that will give me my arc length. I'll just use a for arc length. So theta times circumference, which is 2 pi r, divided by 2 pi. Well, if you look at this, you see that I have, I'm multiplying everything in the numerator, multiplying everything in the denominator, so I can cancel 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. So I'm left with theta times r is equal to arc length. So let's look, that's where the formula comes from. Let's look at that formula in a little bit more detail. So theta times r is equal to arc length. So a stands for the arc length, r stands for the radius of the circle, and theta stands for the central angle in radians. Now on the formula sheet, your 30-1 formula sheet, they don't give you this formula. They give you theta equals a over r. So let's talk how to go from the formula that we just derived to their formula. All I have to do to get theta by itself is divide both sides of the formula that we came up with by r. So if I just divide both sides by r, that's gone. I'm left with arc length over radius equals theta, and that is the formula that they use. So since that formula is on the formula sheet, we'll use that formula, but I wanted to show you where it came from. So let's look at this first example. I want to determine the length of an arc of a circle with a central angle of 130 and a radius of 7.6 millimeters. So the first thing I have to do is change my angle to radians. So I want to take 130 degrees and convert it to radians. So since I'm going to radians, the pi goes on top. So I can put that in my calculator, take pi out, put pi back, and I end up with 13 over 18. So that's 13 pi over 18. So in terms of my formula, this is now theta over here. So theta, 13 pi over 18, is equal to arc length, that's what I'm trying to find, out of radius, which is 7.6. So to solve for this, I'm just going to do cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So 13 pi times 7.6, all divided by 18, will give me my arc length. So what I want to do is put all of that into my calculator. So 13 pi times 7.6 divided by 18, and I get my arc length, which they want to, doesn't specify, I'm going to do it to the nearest tenth, 17.2 with my units, millimeters. That would be my arc length. Okay, let's try another one. Determine the measure of the central angle rounded to the nearest tenth of a degree for the given diagram below. So looking at my formula, theta equals arc length over radius. Okay, I want to take that and I want to change it to degrees. So right now, this is in radians. So if that was my answer, I would just leave it like that. But I want to convert it to degrees. 
So I'm going to take my radians, since I want to go 2 degrees, I'm going to put the 180 on top because the degrees go on top. And then I just plug it into my calculator. 25 over 12 times 180 over pi. And to the nearest tenth of a degree, I have 119.4 degrees. Okay, I just want to end with two diploma questions. Every time I've seen the diploma, there's always an arc link question. And I found two really good questions that I wanted to go over. So in the first one here, a dog is tied to a corner of a rectangular garage. He is given enough leash to run along a 20 meter circular path completing three quarters of the circle. The length of the dog's leash to the nearest meter is what? So what this is really asking us to find is the radius because this is his length of a leash and he can go all the way around the circle in that direction which is the radius. So three quarters of the circle, let's figure out what angle that is. Three quarters of a circle, a full circle is two pi. So if I want to know three quarters multiplied by two pi, I can plug that into my calculator, taking pi out, putting pi back. And I know that my central angle is three pi over two. That's my central angle. So I know that the circular path that he runs along is 20 meters. That's my arc length. So now I just want to use my formula <clears throat> and solve for radius. So I have theta, 3 pi over 2, equals arc length, 20 over r for radius. So what I'm going to do is just cross multiply and divide. So 2 times 20 divided by 3 pi will give me my radius. So all I have to do is put that into my calculator, 2 times 20 divided by 3 pi, and I get 4.244, etc. And they wanted me to put it to the nearest tenth, so I'm going to say that as 4.2 meters. Okay, last example of this lesson here, another diploma example. This is a great question. So the wiper of a rear window of a particular car moves through an angle of 5 pi over 6. In a single sweep, it clears a region that is 16 inches wide. I want to know the total perimeter of the cleared region. Okay, so this is the region that is cleared here, 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 and here. So what I see is I see my two side lengths, the 16 and the 16, okay? So for my perimeter, I know that I'm going to have the 16 plus the 16, <clears throat> which is the side lengths, okay? So I'm just going to actually erase that. This is what I'm talking about, these side lengths right there, okay? So that's the first part of the perimeter is just these guys here. Now I'm going to figure out the other part. So there's really two different arc lengths. There's the little arc length here, and then there's the big arc length on the bottom. So let's start with the little arc length. So I know, using my formula, that theta is equal to a over r. So the angle that it moves through is 5 pi over 6, and that's equal to my little arc length, which is what I want over my radius. So you can see this little arc length has a radius right here of 4 inches. So to solve for a, I'm just going to cross multiply and divide. So for my little a, I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So 4 times 5 pi divided by 6 and I get 10.47 etc. <coughs> so I'll round that to say 10.5. And then I want to do my big arc length, which is this one here. So for this arc length, the angle is still the same. So I still have 5 pi over 6 equals arc length over. But this time, my radius is the 4 and the 16, which is 20. So again, same idea. I'm going to cross, multiply, and divide. So 20 times 5 pi divided by 6, and that will give me my big arc length, which is 52 point, we'll call it 4. So plus a 52.4.
So I want to put that all together in my calculator, add it up, and that will give me my parameter. So I used the unrounded versions, okay, so the whole shebang there and all of that there, plus the two 16s, and I get a perimeter of, they want it to, let's see, the nearest whole number, so 94.8 would be 95 inches. So looking up here to see my options, ah, this one is the correct option. So that is a great question. We're going to do one similar to that when we review this in our next lesson. So to summarize, arc length is a piece of the circle's circumference, and it's found by multiplying the radius by the central angle in radians. The central angle in radians can be found by dividing the arc length by the radius, and that's the formula that you will have on your formula sheet. So drawing these arc lengths makes me think of my favorite childhood video game, which was Pac-Man. And this concludes this lesson on trigonometry.